Our angle right there, it almost looked like Executioner came out on top, but right there at the finish line, the U.S. Hot Rod officials looked at it, they checked the tape from both sides, and the win goes to Monster Patrol. All right, Bulldozer up next, and he's got his hand full with Barefoot. Todd Frolic is the, one of the new generations of drivers, four years in actual competition, but the team has literally decades of experience driving for the group out of Pontoon Beach, Illinois, with more world championships than anybody. And it looks like down the stretch, oh, Barefoot really has some muscle there. What a run. That's what we talked about the first time he came out. If he gets around that turn and is in any kind of shape to win, Barefoot's going to be hard to hold just because of the power and because of the fact that Todd Frolic's not afraid to use it. Look at how he jumps ahead right here. That is nothing but raw, sheer power. Unbelievable. And Todd Frolic and Barefoot, I'm going to tell you, he's just going to be tough to beat in this entire competition. Todd, what'd you do all day to come home with a victory? Uh, that was a tough one, actually. I took it a little easy into the corner. I looked over, he was there, but we got this big old Chrysler Hemi, and we just motored on by him. And you're right, in that corner, I saw you. He had a half a truck length on you. Yeah, he had me into the corner. I took it a little easy. I didn't know how that first ramp was. We'll do better the next round. I think when you hit that ramp, you skied over those crashers, and nobody was even near you. No, I, I noticed in the air, I probably put three, four truck lengths on them in the air. So it's a good run. We can pick it up some. We'll be there. If he picks it up some, he's really going to be trouble. We got more monster trucks, including great diggers, coming up on Monster Jam. Look at him make this turn. Wow, Great Digger got through that turn magnificently, and he has horsepower. He went going away. What a run for Great Digger. He may not be the strongest truck in terms of all-out power and horsepower, but he's getting such a great start, Pablo is, and he's handling the turns better than anybody else I've seen. He doesn't have barefoot's back-end horsepower, but boy, he's handling the entire course. You can see Pablo inside that truck as he lifted his arm up. He was excited about that run, too. You know, anytime you dust Dan Patrick, you've done a whale of a job. All right, here are our results from round one. And Grave Digger, obviously, with that super performance. Outstanding run. The Digger Barefoot Monster Patrol will also be picking up one of the top qualifiers in that round. It's going to be a great semifinal. You know, we've been talking about horsepower. We've been talking about turns and rear steer and all these great things. But none of it would matter if you couldn't get the monster truck to the arena. Every weekend, these monster trucks thrill audiences around the country with their awesome display of horsepower. And to get that horsepower to the ground requires some of the largest tires on Earth. Each of the four mega tires weighs 750 pounds, which made us wonder, how do you change a tire that big? So let's take a look at how it works. Scott Hartsock equips Gunslinger with tiny baby tires to make the long journey between races. The truck doesn't look that intimidating like this, does it? Once the truck is out, Jim can unload the rest of his equipment. An electric hydraulic jack helps in lifting the truck 10,000 plus pounds. Off comes the baby tire, and here comes the monster. A piece of aluminum that is coated with some lubricant will allow Scott to maneuver the tire onto the lugs. A little adjustment, and I think he's got it. An electric impact wrench is an easy way to tighten up the 10 lug nuts that are required to keep the tire firmly connected to the truck. Well, that's one, but how long is this going to take? <laughs> Man, that's a lot of work. But look at the end result. That's one fierce-looking monster truck that's ready to run. And that's, that's an interesting feature on how they get there. Let's get back now to our Pro Stadium trucks as we move on now to round one. Joe Prescott and Heather Kraft. Now we get to see them side by side and it's an actual race for elimination here and a great start by Prescott. And Heather's got a problem already. She's broken the line, basically. Boy, Heather is uh, totally out of power. And it is going to be Joe Prescott who can just cruise on here. And we'll move on to the next round. Hot break for Heather Kraft from Cypress, Texas. But uh, Joe Prescott moving on. Virtual by run. And I'm almost surprised that he gave it a little throttle there at the end. Because, you know, when you get a chance to save your equipment, you don't get that very often in the pro stadium trucks. If your opponent breaks, you know, these guys and girls have a mentality that they just want to go and go hard. All right, here's killing time coming up against Sonny. Dorman is killing time. Then Jeff Hoy will 
roll up to the line to take him on. Now, you know, the 97 Ford had a great run in the first round. Matter of fact, it was the second fastest run of round one. So let's see how Jeff does now with, you know, an opponent beside. That kind of changes things when you're looking at somebody eyeball to eyeball. And Sonny Dorman uh, in the outside on the top of your screen. Well, both trucks got a great start. You can tell it's going to be tight when they come into that spot. If you ever get a real neck-and-neck -neck race, that's going to be an interesting Oh, my. Sonny has trouble with the turn. He had bad trouble in the turn, and that's going to give it to Jeff Moy from Katy, Texas, who comes on to win. And again, that turn is really tough for these trucks. They just keep beating on the same thing, but the many races are going to be determined by that turn, and ultimately, the champion in the dome may be determined by that turn. Our next matchup, Keith Siegel, will go against Jim Hopkins. And let's remember, in our qualifying round, Jim Hopkins, 17.88 seconds. He's flying on this course. And he does it all over the entire course. And let's see if he can do it now as we go into side-by-side -side competition because Hopkins was able to get momentum at the start, keep it all the way down, and made a brilliant turn, and then had a lot of momentum at the end. Literally had power all through the course, and Hopkins is off to a great start. He's going to run away with it. Oh, he's opening it up. Hammered down. Hopkins is checking out. Look at the way Jim Hopkins again got through that turn, and then is able to just mash that throttle and turn it up. Look at this, Mike. That run was actually almost a full second faster than his qualifying run. 16.4 seconds on this course. Unbelievable. Well, Jim Hopkins has it down here, no doubt about it. Keith Williams now against Ralph Massey, or Kevin Williams, excuse me, against Ralph Massey here. This should be a pretty good match. Massey had that Fort Bronco getting around pretty good the first time through, and, you know, Williams... We just have to see if he's got anything for him side by side. You know, much bigger truck in terms of the profile of the truck, and sometimes that can hurt you. Although he's got the lead. The Broncos gonna have to make up ground. Cajun Spice is gonna have to do it on the second half of the course. And we'll see about the turn. The bottleneck got Cajun Spice right there as he wanted to make a move, but he couldn't because the other truck was taking up the whole face of the center. Wow, great race right there, and Kevin Williams ends up getting the win, and I think that bottleneck had a lot to do with it. I agree with you, Kevin Williams and the Bayou Bandit, one of the winners here. Here are our results as we head to break of the Pro Stadium Truck. Hole 9 of the Cooper Tire Invitational, a short part of Antonis and Chad Petersall, plus the Ultra Cross Gang. If you like the bikes, we've got the show. Check out all the action, including the U.S. Off-Road Championship Series, the Thunder Nationals, and professional bull riding starring Tough Hedeman. Back in Houston's Astrodome, jam-packed crowd here, and we're ready for the Pro Stadium semifinals. And our first match is going to be a good one, Joe Prescott and Jeff Hoy. You know, it should be that Jeff Hoy and Jim Hopkins will end up in the finals, but that's why you run the race. They've been the best all night. They're still going to have to win their semifinals. And right now, a tight battle, but indeed, it is Hoy making the move. And it is Hoy out in front. Let's see how he gets through this turn. Boy, Hoy does a great job here of negotiating that turn. Prescott has some trouble, and it is going to be Jeff Hoy, nearby Katy, Texas. Hang time, the name of that truck. And he's on now to the finals in that 97 Ford pickup. Really impressed with the way Hoy is able to take one of the larger wheelbase trucks and not have it be a detriment, especially in the turn. All right, we'll see what Jim Hopkins can do here, or if Kevin Williams has anything for him. You know, Williams has not been close in terms of time the first couple of rounds to the numbers Hopkins have been putting down, but that's why they race it side by side. Oh, man, he almost went into the car. Wow. See what Hopkins can do. Hopkins makes it on that turn. Yep. He just yep. flat gets through it and then mashes that throttle and he adds it again. He was absolutely two car, two truck lengths, I won't say car lengths, two truck lengths behind, but then he got through that turn, like you said, and just really didn't lose any momentum. He actually gained steam in the turn while Williams was having problems and couldn't get around it. Hopkins and Ramrod, too, makes it to the finals. And let's look again at how he gets through this turn. Give a lot of credit to the driver, Jim Hopkins. Look at how he's behind here, but I think with some great braking and throttle movement, he's able to get through that turn very, very quick. It's like he stays on the throttle, but just punches the brake and almost uses the brake to help him turn the vehicle through. But it's interesting to note that was his worst run, 18-16, a couple of seconds slower than he has been and barely faster than Hoy's run was. And we got a good final. Jeff Hoy and Jim Hopkins 
Hopkins is going to have to make a run here to beat him. But their times were almost identical in that last round, still, for the entire night. Hopkins has consistently been the fastest. And what a great start. Look at that hole shot. Hopkins is out there. He, was, he got behind last time in the semifinals. It wasn't going to happen to him here, and he's going to go away with it. Oh, my goodness. He's checked out. And again, a great turn. He still has it. I'm talking about uh, the Jeff Boy machine still hasn't made the turn. Hopkins just finished the course. <laughs> How about Jim Hopkins, our winner here tonight in the Pro Stadium truck. He was dominant from start to finish in almost every single round. Indeed, dominant is the uh, proper word there, except when you think back to the semifinals, he could have easily been beaten. He was absolutely behind going through the bottleneck. But again, just a great truck on every part of this course. We still got more months to jam. We've had a lot of fun on Monster Jam here tonight, and we've got a rip-roaring show for you next week. Check in with that. Here's uh, Dan Moriarty. On next week's show, we got the Monster Finals, some freestyling, and the unlimited dragster tractors. Now, for this show, you better buckle up. We'll see you then. Hey, if you want to see some Monster Jams, how about tomorrow night? Check them out in San Antonio, Pontiac, Michigan, Tacoma, Washington, and Anaheim. Scott, I had a lot of fun tonight. Oh, it's tremendous. It's going to be a great year here on Motor Madness. It sure is. And for Dan Moriarty and Scott Douglas, I'm Mike Hogwood. Thanks for joining us on TNN's Motor Madness Monster Jam. We'll see you next week for a great show. We leave you tonight as we take a look at the Monster Trucks. Do a little freestyle.